I know. How do I hear it? How do I hear it? I know it's been a while. It's been like a week and a half. Yeah. Taking it out. But I have a legit, legit reason. This week is finals week, so I've been really like focused on studying and taking care of all my school stuff. And last week was like the week before finals week week where like all you do is study and study you know I've been really busy worrying about studying and I'm always working so it's like I really have no time to sit down and make a video I have no time right now which I'm only making this video for the sake of making a video because I have an exam tonight in three and a half hours which I should be studying for but I'm going to make this video first, but I'm so relieved today I took my history exam, which I have been worried crazy about, like I've been studying, like I don't even have it with me right now, but it's all the way up there, but it's like he gives you like 40 words, or like, yeah, 40 words, and you have to study all those 40 words. And then on the exam, it, the show response has eight options. You choose four. And then the exam section has four options. You choose one. And you write. And you write. That's all you do. You write. There's no multiple choice. There's no help. There's nothing you can do but like write. And you have to write exactly like what he wants you to write. It can be what you know it's right. What could be right. Even if it's what's right. If that's not what he wants, you're screwed. You're not getting any point. And some of these college professors, they just, I'm like, do you have no life to really be this freaking handsy and picky about stuff? Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I'm just glad it's over. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Don't have to deal with it. You know, I prayed, and I hope I did as well as I wanted to do. I know I did good, but I want, I just really hope I did as well as I wanted to do. And I know, you know, while I was taking my exam, I had help. Today, when I was taking my exam, I had help. You know, I, I brought a friend to my exam. I said, you know, I asked for help while taking the exam and I received that help I believe I did because when I was writing and the eight options he gave on the exam were like eight things I had really been studying about two of them I had to write my term paper on and then the extra credit paper on so it's like I already knew those two so that was bam knocked out the other six I, I already knew I've been studying them I've really been studying them when I was writing I was writing like I knew this material for years like I had help today when I took my exam. I believe I did. And I had two different kind of helps from a lot of people upstairs. So I had help. And I believe I did. And I'm grateful for that help. And I'm glad it's over with. I'm glad it's over with. Now all I have to worry about is tonight's one on Friday. And I am done with my second year of college. And it's crazy, you know, to think that it's already been two years since I started this college journey. It's been two years since, and I remember two years ago, it was like the end, the final crunch time of senior year. And it's like, finish this class, finish that class, get this credit, worry about prom, why don't you wear the prom, graduation graduating are you, um everything that you have to do at like the last month of high school i was doing that exactly two years ago here i am finishing my second year of college and you know so much has happened it's crazy how fast time goes by like it's crazy 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 insane how fast time goes by and not only like not only does time goes by fast but it's like so much happens in like a little bit amount of time as well like it's just crazy it's crazy it's crazy you know and going along with how fast time goes by 
you know, today it marks five years since CJ's been gone. And it's like, you think about five years ago. Like, I was a high school freshman. I don't know what the hell I was going to do in my life. Like, all I knew was I was at Jefferson and I was in a minor program and I was going to study criminal justice and that's what I was going to hopefully one day end up doing. That's really my general idea that I had freshman year. That's it. And it's like, you know, you're the honor dog and I wasn't, freshman year, I was not involved with Jefferson at all, whatsoever, not at all. Like, the freshman year, I actually sat in the stands and watched football games in the stands, and I didn't do anything but really go to football games. Um, that's really all I did freshman year. So it's like, to think about five years ago, back then, when, and it's crazy because it was a Wednesday when we all came back to Jefferson after we found out about CJ and so exactly five years ago, today, on a Wednesday, you know, we we experienced that tragedy and it's crazy how, you know, it's five years. You think about five years being a long time, but at the same time, it's no time. Because, like, I can remember exactly, like, things that happened that exact same day. And it's it's just crazy, you know. It definitely have been five long, short years, like five long slash short years, where you know he's oh, CJ's always been that about, you know. People, you can never forget things like that, and especially when I know, I know, I know, especially at Jefferson, there were a lot of people that didn't know CJ. They didn't personally know him. They knew of him. But the fact that how he was with everybody and how great, like everything he did, it was a huge heartbreak, I guess you can say. Or it was hard to take in the news of what happened to him when it happened. Not only to, you know, his friends and close family, but only to Jefferson, you know, the student body and the community itself. And so much so that, you know, I was on Facebook the other day and somebody uploaded a picture of the TVT where they had an article about him, you know, talking about how it's been five years. And they were interviewing Miss Lucy, I believe, on the, in our interview. Um, but, you know, it's, it's been five years where, you know, justice hasn't been served for him, but people aren't. They haven't stopped fighting for it, for sure. And people are still doing everything they do just for him. And, you know, it's, it's something you don't forget. It's five years, but you don't forget. And pain doesn't go away. And it doesn't matter whether you cry or you don't cry. You show it or you don't show it. You know, things like that. And not only him, but, you know, just tragedies themselves. Family personal tragedies period you know whether you sh whether they, or you know it just comes down to things period that like you go through you don't always show it you don't always talk about it you don't always cry about it but deep down inside like that it's there not necessarily death or things to the level of CJ's passing but just things you go through, period. Like, personally, I know myself, I'm, you know, I'm always smiling, happy person. I am. And I would always be that person. But there's also things that y'all yeah, don't have any idea what's going on. Because, you know, you don't see me crying about it. So I choose not to let nobody see me crying about it. Or things that, you know, that's, that's just how it is. You know, you go through things and... You, some things you let people find out and you show people some things you don't and whether you show it or not you know you think about it you're going through it you heard about it you're praying about it you're dealing with it and, but still you know I, I would always you never know but I will continue to be the happy person because I am happy I will always be happy happy <laughs> 
No, but really. Um, but yeah, that's just how how things in life go. You choose what you want people to know about you, see. And then, you know, there's things that even though you don't show them and you don't, people don't know about them, you know, you're dealing with them inside, deep inside. You're dealing with those things. So, so you know, it's you're not, you know, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. But, you know, some more people just don't talk about it. I mean, I don't talk about it much myself, but it is what it is. You know, those are things that, as humans, we do. We do that. So, yeah. But like I said, I would always be more happy than I would not be happy. <laughs> um, I'm very thankful for everything I have in my life and what I've done in life and where life has taken me. Obviously, there's things that, you know, you think about and you wish that would have been different. But there's nothing you can really do about it now. It's happened. It's over with. And you, all you can do is go from this point on and move on and do what you can do. But, you know, it's a long life ahead of you. I'm only 20. Gotta be 21 this year. But it's a long life. Long life ahead. So there's no reason to be sitting around worrying about little things you can't change when there's a whole entire life out there of things you should worry about like school and more important things <laughs> you know you're everybody has important things of their own so i can't really say what's important for me it might be important to you you might not think school's important school's important for me so you know everybody has their own different things they consider important not important and priorities not priorities but So yeah, I have to go stand in front of my other exam and just making a video because it's been a while, I still understand. So now it's done. <laughs> no, but after finals, I should be uploading more and more and more and more and more videos because I'll have more and more and more and more time to make videos. So for now, this is it. Good luck to everybody who's doing finals right now, and it's going to be taking finals next week, or the week after. Schools be getting out at different times. Here in Tallahassee, we are this week. So, good luck to everybody, and have a great, great, great finals.